serious, what is a science or history mystery that has already been solved, but many people are not aware of. Spontaneous human combustion. Somebody who lives alone drinking alcohol has a stroke or heart attack, falls down and a cigarette ignites a fire, and their clothing and body fat cause a wick effect similar to a candle. There is a fire that is long burning and localized. The lower legs are often unburned as they don't contain much fat. Experiments with pig carcasses have verified it. Thank you for posting this, because when I was a child I was afraid of randomly burning alive in the middle of the night. Pretty much all creepy house phenomena are caused by temperature changes. During the warmth of the day the wood beams expand. In the evening they cool down and begin to contract. This causes creaks and groaning that you can actually hear. It sometimes even sounds like someone is moving somewhere else in the house. Interestingly, these contractions actually produce a lot more infrasound than audible sound. Though humans can't audibly hear this type of sound, we can faintly detect it, and it tends to creep us the duck out. The most important piece of the puzzle is this, agent detection. As an evolutionary rule of thumb it is far better to detect a threat, and be wrong about it, than it is to fail to detect an actual threat. Your brain will actually presume that there really is something in the vicinity, and that it is dangerous. In reality it's just the wood beams in your house contracting. Anyway, you're scared shutless and something important happens. Your hair stands on end. This happens for two reasons. One, back when your ancestors had fur it made them look like a larger and more difficult prey item. Secondly, it allowed them to be more sensitive to wind direction. Being sensitive to wind direction is important, because as potential prey, you always want to be downwind of your predator, real or imagined. This hypersensitivity also causes you to detect temperature variances better, and is responsible for you suddenly feeling cold when the ghost is nearby. The Antikythera Mechanism. Long story short ancient Greek box full of gears found in a shipwreck that many authors, a la cracked, claimed was too crazy complicated for them to make, and that no one knows what it does. We know exactly what it does. Modern imaging lets us look inside it and count the teeth on the gears and they would allow the user to calculate planetary positions and predict eclipses. It was likely used for determining the scheduling of the Olympic Games. The Lost Civilization Atlantis. It's not lost. It never existed in the first place. Atlantis was first mentioned in Plato's Timaeus as a heuristic device, a fictional place to help thinkers examine ideas of government and power. It was not taken seriously until modern times. Modern times. Specifically the History Channel. <laughs> Haven't seen this yet, but as evidenced by recent movies, not many people are aware of it still. You use all of your brain. Saying that you only use 10% of your brain is like saying that we only use one third of a traffic light. To be fair, both of those things do seem to be true with regard to certain people. I'm from Los Angeles, I can verify on both counts. The Bermuda Triangle. The number of ship and plane disappearances isn't higher than in other major shipping areas of that size. I think part of this comes down to the fact that a lot of people don't realize both how big and how busy the Bermuda Triangle is. Crystal Skulls. In 2008 a team of British and American researchers using electron microscopy and x-ray crystallography examined skulls from the British Museum and Smithsonian. A detailed analysis of the skull's surface revealed minute rotary scratch marks around the eye sockets, teeth and cranium. This was clear evidence that the skull was cut and polished with a wheeled instrument, and the Aztecs never used the wheel. The researchers concluded that the skulls were cut from a piece of Brazilian rock crystal in Europe. They were then probably sold to collectors as a relic from the ancient Aztec civilization. The Shroud of Turin has been carbon dated to 1260 AD at the earliest. Jesus wasn't buried with it. Also, there's the fact that the imprint left on a cloth that had been wrapped around a human face would look like a stretched out version of that face when the cloth was later laid out flat again. The pioneer anomaly is the fact that the pioneer probe is just a teensy tiny bit slower than it should be, and since it is far in outer space it was hypothesized that some new physics were responsible. Exciting stuff. Until someone really carefully looked at the heat the battery was giving off, and turns out it accounts for exactly the missing velocity. The appendix's purpose has been discovered as of last year years ago. Basically, it's a backup of your gastrointestinal bacteria colonies. 
if your tract somehow got flushed of all beneficial bacteria, your appendix can repopulate it. <laughs> Amelia Earhart's body has been found a long time ago. 1940 was the year they found out. Three years after her disappearance so it's been about 74 years since then. I never realized that she had a navigator with her when she disappeared. Nobody cares for poor old navigator Fred. <laughs> Nature vs. Nurture when it comes to human behavior. In 1977, Albert Bandera's learning theory explained that it's both your inborn temperament affects what lessons you will take away from the environment in which you are raised. <laughs> Dominance theory thinks there's a Millen, you must be the pack leader, all that alpha garbage does not apply to dogs, and training based on that theory can severely damage dogs, and by extension, humans. It doesn't even apply to wolves. They live in family groups. Two wolves get it on regularly and raise their offspring. Fights basically only happen when it's time for a kid to leave because they are an adult now. The whole alpha theory was based on a group of captive wolves who didn't know each other thrown together. As an added bonus, feral dogs don't form packs and get along better than wolves do with unknown others. Feral dogs don't form packs huh? Tell that to the gang of 7 chihuahuas that terrorize my neighborhood. No joke. How to move huge blocks of stone in making pyramids. Start off with vast numbers of people, in the case of the pyramids, paid, not slaves, and then you sweat sand and rollers to make it easy. Actually there is an even easier way. You basically rest the huge block on a small stone, the size of a football perhaps, then swing it round and place another stone underneath and repeat. Using this method you can transport those huge massive blocks with just two people, it's actually possible with just one. Do women blush in the dark? Writing in the late 18th century the German scholar G.R. Christoph Lichtenberg observed, the question whether young women blush in the dark is a very difficult one, at least, one that cannot be settled by light. Even Charles Darwin was unable to solve the mystery, although he did suggest an answer in the expression of the emotions in man and animals. Several ladies, who are great blushers, are unanimous in regard to solitude, and some of them believe that they have blushed in the dark. I have no doubt that this latter statement is correct. The answer, Denise Warchter and Walter Soonjans used a Testo 875 thermogenic camera in a pitch dark room to film the face of a 31 year old woman who was specially selected for her talent to blush easily. After allowing her to acclimatize to the temperature of the room, they made one measurement before asking her to describe an embarrassing story that had happened to her. Reporting their findings in the annals of improbable research, they wrote, By showing that people can blush in the dark we have finally solved this age-old problem. The Tunguska event was an iron meteorite. The English colonists at the lost colony of Roanoke Island probably joined with some of the local natives. Years later, future settlers discovered natives living around Crotone Island who had physical characteristics that were just genetically not possible to suddenly show up in Native Americans. Not exactly confirmed, but, it had been a question as to why the Tolookas of the Titanic did not see the iceberg much sooner given the reported clear night. Turns out it was most likely due to super refraction. Basically a mirage in the ocean, similar to the one you see on the road on a hot day, cloaked the iceberg. Scientists are unable to understand how bees are possibly able to fly. Our current knowledge of aerodynamics says it ought to be impossible. The wings are too small and the bodies are too fat. No. Not true. At all. The world was thought to be flat until Columbus. No. The Greeks figured it out and got the circumference freakishly accurate using basic geometry. Guis this is literally taught in US high schools. This is a country where genesis is taught as fact in some states. It's not that crazy to believe the ignorance that spews from schools. Everyone in Columbus Day knew the earth was spherical. The Roswell incident. Yes, the government was lying. It was not in fact a weather balloon. What that New Mexico rancher found was not a crashed flying saucer either. It was the debris from a crashed high altitude, highly classified nuclear detonation detection platform. The bloop was an iceberg. Stomach ulcers are caused by bacteria and can be cleared up with a round of antibiotics. While stress, alcohol, spicy foods, coffee and acidic foods can exacerbate it, they are not the cause. That most of your body heat escapes through your head. It doesn't. 
the picture they show was taken in a cold environment and they were covered with heavy winter clothing and no headgear.